So one of the few games, and I do mean few games, uh, that was, it looked like a PlayStation exclusive uh, that was shown at the showcase was Phantom Blade Zero. And I missed a lot of uh, the gameplay footage during the showcase itself. Uh, however, I'm going to go and head and play the uh, gameplay announced trailer that they showed at the showcase. And then afterwards, while high, I'm going to give you uh, my thoughts and opinions on the game. So uh, let's get right into the trailer. <laughs> What's your plan, knowing you have only 66 days to live? Just run away. difference at the end of the day. You know better than anyone else. That no one could escape. Six days to live. Get my heart back. PlayStation. Holy shit. I mean, what the fuck? Are you serious? This game looks unfucking believable. If this is, and it looks like in game engine footage, what the fuck? It's things like th it's games like this that remind me of why I l love Sony PlayStation since the original came out when I was a wee little bit a little kid. All right, and uh, this is unfucking. It gives me Metal Gear like the tones of it and the story and the incredible voice acting gives me very much Metal Gear uh, tones to it. 
and the combat style. I don't know how the fuck this is going to operate at all, but as fast as it is, holy shit. I have been waiting, like, Ghost of Tsushima was the first game that I played that really made me feel like a kid wanting, like, a samurai-style game that was so quick and that you needed patience when it came to bosses because if you rushed in, you instantly died, and you, it was this, this, right here, Phantom Blade Zero is the, one of the main reasons why the Sony Showcase wasn't a complete failure. There's a moment in this where he's on uh, the carriage and he's fighting off enemies alongside him and it's just very quick and then you, it kind of, there was a boss that you seem to have faced earlier in the game that's trying to hit you while you're on the carriage and all of it together. I want to know how this combat is going to work because holy shit, I need to play this game right now. Like, I'm, I'm psyched for this. A Phantom Blade Zero is absolutely on my fucking radar. So we don't know when this game is coming out. It just is uh, coming soon. Uh, so hopefully, I mean, it looks pretty good. I mean, it looks pretty polished. And it, like I said earlier, it, it that does look like in-game footage. So how far along is this game? I don't know. But it looks like it might come out possibly next year, which would be fucking amazing if it did. I've been looking for a game to kind of fill that Ghost of Tsushima, uh, like, void after being in the game on the hardest difficulty and just going through it, uh, completing pretty much everything. I've been looking for that next game, and Phantom Blade Zero, I think, is going to be it because we're going to get a Ghost of Tsushima movie before we're ever going to get a second game, so, which sucks. Don't get me wrong, I, I'm very upset by that, because there's no way the fucking movie is going to be any good if it's Americanized and bastardized and all that, that horribleness. Uh, when it comes to, we'll have Tom Cruise in, well, Tom Cruise will be uh, the star of uh, Ghost of Tsushima, the movie, because you gotta have, uh, you know, a white man play The Last Samurai. Anyway, like, this is... I, I'm psyched for it. I, I'm I guess psyched for Phantom Blade Zero. And the score, it just feels a very Metal Gear-like. And I this I immediately... Just everything about this. Uh, this presentation of Phantom Blade Zero. Uh, the, oh, the, the wall running. When he's climbing up the pillars. And even when it's you're facing off against what seems like a boss. Essentially, the main character of the game goes behind the pillar, and the camera switches the view, the angle, to make it so you see where the guy is. I fucking love that. It, it's simple things like that. That's, that's such a, it makes it seem like such a simple thing to do, but games don't do that. It just, it just, they overlook those simple, fine details that make such a polished, well put together game, and this is it. Phantom Blade Zero, you, you got me hyped. I, I definitely want this game, and I don't know if, you, maybe Phantom Blade Zero is not an exclusive, I don't know. We want to hear from you. Uh, are you excited about Phantom Blade Zero? What did you enjoy the most uh, from the Sony Showcase? Uh, let us know in the comments down below. Also down below, you'll find the description where me and my brother Rocky's all of his socials are located, as well as a link to our other main channel, Smoking Sessions, where we do movie reviews, watch-alongs, tier lists, all sorts of movie-related content that I'm sure you'll fucking enjoy. And thank you so much for watching this video. If you did enjoy this video, uh, don't forget to leave a like, and don't forget to hit the subscribe button so, and turn that bell on so you get notified when the next gaming ses sessions video drops. Well, thank you so much for watching Andrew Lissitz's video, and we will see you all in the next gaming session.